Already elbows deep in designing this morning and now it's the time where the sheet metal has been cut, we've been grinding, we're about to start welding, but in order to weld I need to um, pattern the design and make sure I've got the fit of everything. Um, I can already tell I'm going to have to recut a few things along the front line of the wing, um, but again, I won't know until I get a couple of them welded up and and I get that whole curve of the wing coming up. So it's one step at a time and uh, referencing continually with um, with the diagrams. Have you ever wondered how artists create their art forms? If you're up for it, I'll take you with me through my artistic process from beginning to end of projects with my Looking Into the Light series, sparking that light of inspiration and creativity inside of you is possible when you open to it. Join me in handcrafting an extraordinary life by joyfully creating with the light. I'm Jay Stargard, international artist and owner of Stargard Art. In this part of the phase of making the sculpture, it's all about alignment. This is where we line up the design so that it'll flow really easily later on. So it's very much like doing the spiritual work. This is the spiritual work part and for the manifestation to appear when we move into aligned action and do the actual movements that create the manifestation. It's really important to line up the design as clean and as beautiful as possible. As I'm creating the sculpture, my learning is happening in real time. Yeah, I'm thinking, I, I'm there's potential here to be super, super messy. And um, I, most of the time, will choose to run a cleaner design. Ah, you know, when worst comes to worst, if I don't like it, I'll redo it. There's some parts of this that can be extremely paralyzing in in the creative process where it's overwhelming especially at the beginning and it's it, in my creative process it's super important for me to find an anchor a starting point um, just like in some of the other videos that we talked about you just start so the way to do this is you pick a starting point and you line up with it and you move forward from there any of the doubt or the self-talk that is, I don't know if I'm doing this right, that is just torturing ourselves. So we don't do it. Just stop. Just don't do that. Pick a starting point and move forward from there and the momentum will begin and you'll keep making positive choices and the right decisions if you stay focused on what is working. That is the most exciting part, is to stay focused on what is working and then continually the flow of what does work. It really gains so much momentum and the process becomes easier. And that's what I really love about the creative process is when it's flowing like that. We do that by staying positive. This is, this is too much of a amoeba. So, um, so if I'm trying to catch something super slippery, I am going to go towards what I know will definitely work. So I'm going to go after those first, get the primary design level and worry about, not even worry, but just manage the upfront. Um, yeah, just manage the, that. Yeah, that's the way to go. Okay, so I'm going to manage the rear line of everything first. And then that will determine what happens next. Okay, we got a plan. Now it's time to head over to the welder and 
Get rocking and rolling on that. How cool. All right. Ooh, I haven't welded in so long. It's gonna be so fun. One feather done. The momentum is in the successes and lining up with that design, focusing on the starting point and moving forward from there gives a clear direction. So I will be in my happy place for many, many days rocking this puppy out. Very cool. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to do something creative because that changes things up and allows new things to come into your life and do something fun because that's the pathway of the divine.